GP monitors an interesting one. And somebody also asked earlier on for um, how does the space desk work? Okay, well, I can I can show you in a in a few moments um, because it's very very straightforward to do. You just open up space desk and you will see it asks you to connect. And here it is. It's now a screen on my computer. You know, this is my you know my mind go through photos of my my family, but uh, I can put, um, I can find my mouse, I can put any window I like onto this. Here it is, here we are, a live stream. This is now a monitor um, in out on, on my computer that I can operate with the same thing there as well. Uh, I'm actually looking at an e-ink monitor and discussing that. Um, let me just close this down now and go back to that. You see Space Desk is a very viable alternative to getting a dedicated monitor. So that's a really good way of doing that. This is only not a cheap e-ink monitor, but my question at the minute is, is this is not much more expensive, a tiny bit more expensive than some dedicated monitors. So I'm wondering if a cheap e-ink monitor involves just actually using what already exists uh, in the Android ecosystem and using a space desk. Um, and maybe also ask, why not just sell monitors um, and leave the software choice up to the user? Yeah, I think the problem is that um, the books of the, the difference you can see between some of these devices uh, and and how far along books are, you know, shows you that it's not easy to code and make things look brilliant on the ink. So, for instance, the Lenovo, I find lots of ghosting, lots of things on here because they just haven't developed yet the algorithms to really clean up the ink as it refreshes. I, again, looking using the Remarkable, you can tell that. Um, you know, they, they, when you go back from something with the book super refresh and you use the remarkable and you find, and you see the kind of ghosting that you get when you change page, you know, it's kind of like, it's a bit hit or miss. Sometimes it's really, really bad. And sometimes it's really, really good, but it's just, you know, it isn't as easy as just display computer on e-ink and it will look great. You know, you have to really, they have to work on the algorithms. And I think that probably the, the people who crack the monitors will be the people who manage to have some kind of processing on the monitor to run the e-ink refresh rate uh, and accept the feed and be able to sort of live optimize whatever's being fed to it to make it look good. And that will mean actually having processors on there as well. So I could see a maybe a um, collaboration between somebody like Space Desk and Books to get you know, really good to make it. I don't know if you noticed that it wasn't, it didn't look quite this good when it was on monitor mode. It looked kind of, you know, the contrast went a little bit and everything like that. And and that's because books haven't worked on that particular app and made sure it is working perfectly. But it's certainly a possibility.